Roswell Flight Test Crew, back here at NAB 2016, and I'm talking to Bob Schmidt from Hoodman. How are you doing, Bob? I'm doing fine, Patrick. Day four. Day four. Yeah, we are. We're, we're winding down here, pretty much everybody. Anyway, we did want to stop by your booth before we left the show, because you've come out with several new products for drones, including this drone belt. Why don't you tell us about that thing? Drone belt is basically a device to take the controller off the neck and upper arms and bring it down to the waist. So it takes a belt, it takes a base plate, and it takes the controller and suspends it in front of you. So basically everything is almost hands-free until you want to place your hands on the controller. So it really eliminates fatigue and it keeps it right there and then you can quickly release it and move on your way and go on to some other things. So very interesting. Now I noticed you've yeah. got a DJI controller on there, but I take it you make base plates for Futaba and all the other major brands. Abs absolutely. What we've done is we've taken every Every major brand and most of them are specifically for that brand so it's just a matter of a model number associating it with your appropriate controller and we have one for it and then secondly with a name like Hoodman it's obvious you guys make hoods for video gear and now you're starting to make them for use in drone applications exactly as you know 30 years ago we started making hoods for broadcast monitors and then it evolved into drones it was just a natural extension of our line of products very simple but very necessary. And uh, what if you need to interact with it? Like, let's say you're using an iPad mini. Is there a way you can touch the screen? Absolutely. What we've done is put a split in the first stage of the hood. So you can actually interact with the screen by a pierceable panel. So there's complete capabilities within and keeping the hood on. And then I have to confess, this is my favorite. You've got these drone landing pads. Why don't you tell the people about those? You know, we always ask people, what's going on? What do you need? What's this? And they say, you know what? Every time I set my drone down and I take off, it sucks dust, dirt up into the motors as well as into the lens. So we thought, okay, well, let's come up with something that makes sense circular design, weighted design, and it's a polyvinyl, so it really gives you enough surface area to work from, but then eliminates all the dust, dirt coming up into your lens and into your motors. Very simple. You're bringing a lot of gear out into the field. We wanted to minimize it. It's similar to the old Flexville light box where you can just turn it and it goes into three cir small circles and goes down into about a 24-inch carrying case, and it's about eight pounds. Pretty yeah. manageable. Yeah. Yeah, but at the same time, it is important to point out it's weighted around the rim. It's not going to blow away like a reflector would. It's nice and sturdy. I, I realized that when I was holding it. People have staked, put stakes in the ground with these. We thought, you know what, let's put something a little smarter in here. Let's get some galvanized rope. And we're basically galvanizing something, you're taking all the magnetic capabilities out of it. So you won't have to worry about any GPS issues with your compass. But what the weight will do is give you a perimeter of weight evenly dispersed around that perimeter and a very functional way to use it and keep the product down on the ground. Yeah. Well, this is some good looking stuff and I appreciate you taking the time to tell us about it. Patrick, thank you very much. It was nice meeting you. Absolutely. And from NAB 2016, this is the Roswell Flight Test Crew signing off.